Okay, so, guy walks into the bar and he says to us, he said, guys, I'm gay, I'm thinking about coming out, but I'm nervous about what my straight friends are going to say. This guy here is the guy. This is the guy. Okay. But I'm, I'm gay. And his name is Wayne Desi, and he's got a website called Are You Coming Out? Dot com. Dot com. So what are some of the regular problems that come about, what people are thinking about, what's the stress, what's the main stress for these people coming out? Well, you knew me when I was gay. Yeah. We lived together in a non-gay way. Uh-huh. And that was never an issue for you. No. But if you would have known me when I wasn't gay, mm -hmm. if I was to come out to you, how would you have felt about that? I think it would have, it comes down to a little bit probably how long I'd known you before and how long you felt you'd known yourself. Because as a good friend, I think if you'd kept it from me for quite a while, I might be a tiny bit hurt. I'd hope that you could tell me if I was a good friend of yours. And that is a really interesting point because a lot of the emails that I get from the website are about the reactions from people that are told that someone is gay. You could have trusted me, you could have, you know, you could have told me, I wouldn't, you know, why did you not tell me? And at the end of the day, it, it kind of doesn't really matter to the person that's coming out. At that time, it's, it's kind of all about you. Mm. You know, you've, when I, when I realized I was gay, I was about 15. I didn't come out until I was 21. So I had six years of having to come to terms with the fact that I was gay. And so, unfortunately, it sounds quite selfish. It was kind of all about me when I came right, out. Yeah. That's I'm straight and I think it's all about me. So. It does. It's, it's true. So really, for those guys and, and people who've got, who've got gay friends coming out, just show them their support, realise that there's a lot of attention on them, and don't be so fucking, you know, narrow-minded, and, and, and talk to them, be there for them, even if you don't feel like it, be exactly. there for them. Exactly. Be as try and keep everything as normal as possible. And don't also, don't wait. Don't wait until that thing happens. Don't wait until the mate that you think might be gay, might come out to you one day, says something that makes you think they're gay, and you react to it. Be proactive. Make the odd comment when you're oh, out. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah. kind of. You know, kind of say, not as obvious well, as this, like, but like, like, nice ass. I don't hate gay people. <laughs> oh, right, That's yeah. a little bit obvious. Not like, oh, but, yeah, so are you gay? Not yeah. like that. Not like that. Oh, but not yeah, like. If you were gay, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, that's a little bit obvious. Oh, okay. But what about I've got loads of gay friends. That's ne not necessarily a bad thing, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. because gay people are cool, so that would say that you were... I could mention things cool. like, like, things like you're wearing I've got, pink. I've got, a pink, I've got a gilet, yeah, which is apparently what it's called. Oh, that's, I would call it a body warmer, but... It, it's called a gilet. A that, see, that's the difference between me and you. You wear gilets and I wear body warmers. You're straight and I'm... Is she gay? <laughs> <laughs> The biggest, the biggest thing I've found from people sub submitting their coming out stories is that they were worried about what their straight male friends were going to think. And with you, I didn't have to worry about that because you knew me when I was already out. And we didn't I was like already gay. that much anyway. Do you know, the, the first year I worked here, I didn't know you were gay. It was literally about a year until it was Rob that told me you were gay, but I didn't know. And do you know what? That's another interesting thing. It is. Because a lot of gay people have an issue with camp gay men. Okay. And it's something that I think we're all guilty of in a way. It's like we need to change the stereotype. We need to make the mainstream media realise that not all gay people are really camp and expressive and into singing and dancing and all that kind of shit. You can't sing. But do you know what? Does it really matter? It doesn't matter. It no. doesn't matter. It's like... A, a lot of my straight mates are into that kind of stuff. A lot of my gay mates are into that kind of stuff. A lot of my gay mates aren't into that kind of stuff. Camp and gay are very, very different things. Yeah, that's and, true. Because to be fair, well, you, you're quite camp. I, I, yeah, we used to DJ together. You're camper than me. Yeah, yeah. Is camper a word? Mm, I think camper -er, think You're I'm more camper -er than I am. Yeah. And we used to DJ together years I mean, ago. I've got a gilet, but you are more camp than And I am. people used to go, know that one of us was gay and they'd be like, you know, think I was the gay one, you were the straight one. 
Mainly they because were, they were just dreaming. But Mainly because yeah. of the shirts we were wearing. I think I we could. Pictures, I think we could can. like insert them this would here. Be straight, and you can choose who looks gayest. Put it in the comment section below who looks gayest. So, there's been times when you've asked me to send text messages to girls. What? <laughs> what? Am I not supposed to say that? Or, well, this, yeah, in the past it's happened. And you wouldn't go and ask one of your girlfriends, as in a girl who's your friend, that, would you? No, you wouldn't be like, oh, will you send this? No, you ask me. No, would you ask Will? No, because he's straight. So he'd say the same thing you were going to say. He'd just say, mm -hmm. I can say proper things, like words that make sentences. Miss my girlfriend. Sensible things. <laughs> Miss my girlmates are too attractive to be able to type a sentence. It's true, you have got a lot of attractive straight girlfriends. <laughs> who, I don't, who, who I don't fancy because I'm gay. I suppose it's like in front of um, straight men you can't slag off um, Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone or Bruce Willis. Yeah. Me and you, I can guarantee we watch the Die Hard films mm -hmm. because we love them. Yes. I think we love them for very different reasons. I don't know. You guys haven't got a problem with it because it takes that guy away from his girlfriend and you can shag her. That, yeah. that is great logic. That's I've never thought of that before, but that makes complete sense. I'm even more pro-gay than I ever was. I love the fact you're pro-gay. Yeah. I love it. It's getting a bit weird now. And the other thing is, just because your mate is gay, it doesn't mean that he fancies you. Are you sure? At all. Are you sure? Well, do you fancy every girl... Mm, okay, well, that's not a very good example, but... Okay, imagine a really ugly girl mm. came in your bar. Like a four. Would you fancy her? No. There you go. The point is, the, Just, po no, the point is, this is me taking a bit of control back because straight people have had their way <laughs> for as long as I can remember. So this is me silencing my straight mates. Shh. Just because your mate is gay, it does not mean that they fancy you. So, just to clear up, do you fancy me? Yeah, of course I do. I fancy both of you. But, it doesn't mean that, that your gay mates always fancy you. Yes. Okay, so to bring it back to where we're at, what straight guys are talking about, what straight guys are thinking when their friends are coming out and giving them all the spiel about being gay and how we're going to support them is basically we're going to Bring it up ourselves, what is what you're saying. Bring it up ourselves, don't be scared, don't ignore it, don't turn a blind eye to it. For example, if you were gay, I'd be okay with that. Oh, okay, luckily I'm not gay. And what about if he was gay? If, if you were gay, I'd be okay with that. I like gay people. Oh, Pep, I've, I've got something to tell you. What have you got to tell me? Like this, I've never told anyone before, but I might be gay. That's okay. Uh, was why, that good? Was why, that amazing? Why would you not tell me first? I don't know. So if you're interested in any of the stuff that have been splurting out today, then you might want to check out um, areyoucoming.com. There'll be links somewhere, won't there? Will, in the description box, I'll put it better, down there. Better be. And finally, uh, there's going to be, you can click on our faces, and if you'd like to vote on which character or person you like the most, okay, click on our face and we'll have a little vote. And it's all purely for, for our um, fragile male egos. And also, to test the homophobia of your audience. Yes, yes, that was another reason why we're doing it. 